All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders, and today I'm going to be talking about Orakuru, which is a Binance Smart Chain Oracle. So the reason why I'm talking about this coin is I think it's a DeFi microcap gem, and it's going to do really well. The emergence of DeFi just in the the crypto space is so big that you're going to need more than one Oracle, and um, Orakuru is specifically focusing on the Binance Smart Chain, they're going to have partnerships with big DeFi protocols on the Binance Smart Chain, hopefully, and that will grow them. So I will talk about the, so why Binance Smart Chain is important, why Orakuru could be important to the Binance Smart Chain, and why Oracles are such a good investment. Uh, and this is also not financial advice, this is just my opinion. So we're going to go on to the presentation. So let's start with this with the blockchain. So the Binance Smart Chain is quickly becoming the hub of DeFi and crypto. You see, in September 2020, Binance Smart Chain basically didn't exist in daily transactions, and then it's grown to over three million transactions, eclipsing eclipsing Ethereum uh, per day. The reason why is it's faster, it's it's cheaper, and there's more innovation going on the Binance Smart Chain. So the key features: you have fast transaction speeds three second block times, cheaper transaction speed or cheaper transactions. So you're having instead of $40 transactions, you're having 15 to 60 cent transactions. And then the emergency of def the emergence of DeFi protocols like yield farming and, and, and pooling. So popular dApps on the Binance smart chain, PancakeSwap, which is decent, which is a decentralized exchange, which means you can buy and sell coins without using your identification without having to deposit your assets and withdraw them, you're, they're going to be held on your wallet and you can just run on the Binance Smart Chain using PancakeSwap. So PancakeSwap is the decentralized exchange running the Binance Smart Chain with lots of features that lets you earn and win tokens. So you actually have the ability to play the lottery. You have the ability to yield farm. You have the ability to liquidity pool, provide liquidity and earn fees on uh, every trade. That's with the coins that you provide and it's fast and cheap for anyone to use. So you get pancakes and rabbits as your tokens. So Pancake Bunny then took Pancake Swap's idea and they said, well, if you're earning fees, why don't you compound your fees as well into your original investment? So all Pancake Bunny does is they take your original investment and every so many hours, they pool everyone's investments together and they recompound it with lower fees. So that makes, uh, for example, a 90% annual return. If it's compounded daily, it can go up to like 120% annual return, right? So th it does this all with you without you being there. And then Auto Farm is the same thing, but it's a cross-chain yield DeFi aggregator. So Auto Farm can work on, it, it's for DEXs, and it just gets you the best yields in the spaces. So if you look at Uniswap, so Uniswap is the Ethereum-based decentralized exchange versus PancakeSwap, which is the Binance chain uh, decentralized exchange. So, and when you come to unique trader accounts, there's 500,000 unique trader accounts, and then there's 1.8 million on PancakeSwap. Dex trading volume is very, it's basically the same, $33 billion. And trade counts though, there's way more trades, right? Because people on Uniswap need to save money for their trades. On PancakeSwap, you can keep trading. And then, of course, trade pairs created. There are way more coins on there. So then Uniswap, uh, the coin price, it issue was issued at three dollars and forty four cents, and the all time high is thirteen x, where Pancake Swap was a dollar and it hit forty three dollars. So that is as of May third, twenty twenty twenty. So all of these applications, what they all have in common, is they need outside data feeds. They need to be able to find the price of a coin, the volume of a coin, and and put that in the the centralized exchange. They need to be having it in real time. They need to have the information provided to smart contracts. Token price, volume, yields, <clears throat> bonus, lottery numbers. So Orokuru is going to be the oracle that provides this data on Binance Smart Chain. So they're going to reach out to Binance projects and provide this real-world data. So the way it works, you need a real-world data, for example, a soccer game score because it's a betting application. And when one person's um, team wins, they get the money. So Orokuru is going to ask the nodes to capture data. So Sam, can you be a soccer price data provider? And if you provide this data, we're going to pay you 0.1 pancake swap per data call. 
So if you have thousands of data calls a day, week, month, year, you're going to make money off of that. And you're going to get paid in Orakuru tokens. So the more data that comes onto the network or the more people that pull from the network, the more demand for those tokens and they're going to have to buy them. So then the data is pulled through an external node and it's validated because this data can't be fake. So Orakuru is going to validate this data to make sure it's accurate. And then they're going to pipe it out to the feeds that you need. So for example, a decentralized exchange or a centralized exchange could use Orakuru to find the prices of coins being traded on the market by checking all over the blockchain for these prices. So the IDO, um, it's about a month old, right? The IDO date was one April, 2021. So it's a very new coin. It's also in its test net. They don't actually have the full product out yet. They're testing soon. So version one of the test has gone through and version two is starting soon. So real world usage, and we already talked about this. So for example, CoinGecko is a off chain real world uses. So for exchanges would get the prices of coins and then once that price is made public coin gecko would pull those prices to show us what the prices of the coins are on chain would be uniswap when you're about to change straight trade a coin in real time they need to get the price of the coin so that's where they're going to get it so how do oracles make money you have to pay to play so node operators set the prices and when you see node operators charging 0.1 coins per api call that's what they want for their data. They're valuing data. Data has value. So when you're selling your data, someone else is selling your data for, you know, whatever per API call. So the price, when you make a request, you choose a specific Oracle you want to use. So you could use Chainlink, Chainlink or Kuru, some other Oracles. And then that's one request. But if you want decentralized data feeds, you might want to pull from five or six. So for example, they just might get business off of just pulling five or six. So here's an example of just a data set where you have Arsenal versus Man City and the predicted score in the betting app, right? And the probability, but the real score was two zero for Man City. So then one half of people win, one half of people lose, and then there's probably people who bet on a tie. And then you send that data and you, they sell it. So this is what Oracruz data feed looks like right now. Uh, they only have five coins, so they have Binance, Pancake Swap, Bitcoin, Venus Coin, which is a Binance. Venus Coin is a Binance decentralized lending platform, and then Bakery Token, which is Bakery Swap. So that's what their dashboard looks like. I think it's pretty clean looking, and then they have the test net there, where they're testing out uh, the data feeds. So then it's a community driven platform. So the community is the ones that vote on what they need. So there's replies on debugging, developer skills, setting up different things. People are pitching ideas, how to market the, the, the program. So the whole point of our crew is it's community driven and the community as a community, you should be able to do better. So the testnet event, so testnet two, so it's going to be a two week testnet split into four stages. It starts on the 1st of May. So it just, I guess the sign up started, the end date is the middle of May. And then they're going to have 50 nodes or validators providing data on the blockchain. And then the validators are, or people will provide data on the blockchain and the validators are the ones who are going to validate that is correct. VC investors. So another reason why I invest in a coin is I want to have good VC investors. So Vendetta Capital is, is a mid tier. BlockSync is a mid-tier and on-chain capital is a mid-tier. So a combination of three mid-tier VC investors is enough for me to say, okay, there's enough decent capital and on-chain capital. This uh, guy, Ran Nur, is one of the top 10 most influential people in crypto. He's on CNBC Africa, I believe, and he just covers crypto all over the world. Valuation. This is called a moon sheet on the left-hand side here. So the moon sheet just shows at what price does the market cap move up at? So for example, today's price is $4.24. So it's around here, it's about 25X from its ICO. They originally raised $500,000 at 17 cents. They've hit $4.38, so it has gone up a lot. And some people would not consider this one because it's gone up a lot, but I think it has a lot to go. So these are competitors. Option Room, Aura Chain Token, DIA, Band Protocol. Personally, I don't know any of them, right? So it doesn't mean that they're not good or not, but I don't know any of them. And so to go to 400 million to say, or a crew, if they're semi successful, they're going to go to $400 million market cap. That would be a 36 X 
to get to band protocol. Now, I didn't put, just one second, I didn't put chain link on, or I, I didn't actually make that sheet, but I didn't talk about chain link because chain link is just out of this world. They are, you know, top crypto of all time. So I didn't talk about them, but I just want to look at the chain link market cap to see what the market cap is for the top. Chain link market cap. So chain link market cap is, is 20 billion. $20 billion. So imagine five years from now, if you were hold, to hold this for five years, we could just get to chain link. Maybe chain link by then will be $100 billion, for example. So maybe if this is a successful protocol, it could get to $20 billion. That would be 20 billion divided by 12 million. It would be a 1600x return. So 16,000% return. So this is why I look at DeFi microcaps. Now, what are the odds? The way that I place my bets, say I have $10,000 and I want 10 positions. I'm gonna just take 10 $1,000 positions in these. I'm, I'm willing to have this position go to zero. I will hold for five years and I'm willing to have that position go to zero because the odds are at my picking that I can do two out of 10, right? Two out of 10 that do 100, 200x. So if I can get two out of 10 that do 100, 200x that I'm getting under 15 million market cap and they can do, I don't think it's going to do 1600x return, but if it does a 36x return, right? $36,000. So you've just 3x your portfolio with one with one coin. So that's my premise on DeFi microcap. I want to get it under 10 million. So $3.36 is my target price to start buying. Uh, that's where I want to buy because I want to get under sub $10 million. So if I, it goes from $10 million to 40, $400 million, I'm good. And that is all I have. So if you have any questions, just put shoot them in the comments and I can reply to you and maybe I'll do a second video. But that is my take on Orakuru. I think it's a great project. I like that it has some decent VC experience and I like that it's on the Binance Smart Chain. Binance Smart Chain is going to be growing at a crazy pace. Eventually I would like to find an Oracle on the Solana blockchain as well if they don't have one already, but that's what my thinking is. I'll find a Solana blockchain, I'll find a Matic blockchain, and then we'll go from there. So thank you very much. New content is gonna be added every day or every week. And turn your notifications on. Please subscribe and follow me, CMGSK, on Instagram or Twitter. Thank you.